Mock Taquito Homestead with Jess. Today we're going to work on a chive product. We're going to go ahead and cut the chive blossoms. Now I went ahead and let the chive blossoms dry out on the plant for a reason and I will show you that soon. These chives come back every year. I don't need any more chives spreading. So I put the chive blossoms to use in other ways. If I just let these go, they would just continue to dry out and the seeds would fall to the ground and continue to spread and I would have chives everywhere. pretty nice and cool this afternoon. I'm glad I waited to do this in the evening. How are your guys' evenings going? Let me know in the comments. My husband and I decided to go down to the creek today and walk around. We walk around the property every morning and every evening just checking things out seeing what's growing, seeing what's coming into bloom, and so we went down to the creek earlier today, and I was wanting to check out my wild black raspberries that I collect every year, and I had a really dumb moment. By the time we walked all the way down to the creek, I had to pee, and so I went ahead and squatted and went to pee. And when I was done peeing, I went to stand back up and I slipped and I fell, falling in my pee. So not only did I fall and jerk my back, I had pee all over me. So stupid, stupid moment. Spent most of the day today in bed after that fall, after I took a shower, of course. And my hand and fingertips have went numb so I'm hoping that will go away soon but we'll see do any of you have moments like that you do something you know you shouldn't do and then you fall or something like that so I decided to find an easy, quick project I can do to get me out of the house because it is such a beautiful day. I don't like being stuck in the house. All right, our chives are all finished, so let's go inside and wash them up, and I'll show you what the next step is. All right, we're back in my kitchen now, and what I'm doing is separating the chive blossoms, the ones with less color that have dried out more than the others. I'm separating those. And what I'll do with these ones is I will save for seeds. I am a part of some seed trading groups on Facebook. And so I collect my seeds and save them. And then I can trade them for seeds that I don't have or plants that I don't have and just trade for what I do. All right, so when we're done sorting out all the older, dull-looking chive blossoms, we're going to take the newer chive blossoms. Now, remember, these have been washed and dried. So I'm just going to stick the more colorful ones, the ones that haven't dried out, in my jar. I'll loosely pack my jar.
All right, once I've got my jar completely filled up with my chai blossoms, I'm going to go ahead and add some white vinegar and just top that off. And I will let this sit for two to four weeks. And the chives will infuse this vinegar. And then I can use this to make vinaigrette dressing for my salads or I can make a marinara sauce for my meats. I'll put this in a dark spot in the cabinet, nice cool dark spot. And I'll be able to make salad dressing later with it. Now with the blossoms that I've already dried out, I'm just gonna pull apart the flowers and get the seeds out. There's no real easy way to do this that I found. If you guys know an easier way, you let me know. But I've tried putting in mason jars and shaking and get all the chaff is what they call it off the seed. But that hasn't been successful. So I just work on this a little bit at a time and get these seeds away from the chaff, away from the flower. And then I'll let them dry out a little more on the counter for like a day. And then I'll put them in a paper envelope to make sure that they stay dry. And then I will store them in my freezer until I'm ready to trade them. Thank you for stopping by and visiting Keto Homestead with Jess and following me as I harvest my chai blossoms. Until next time, I will see you. You all have a great day.